What is up? Uh, I'm going to do a video blog today. It's Thursday, I think the 16th of April. Is that right? Let me see. Uh, yep. All right, so went to the uh, oh, and I'm, um, I'll be 38 weeks pregnant tomorrow. So here's some things I want to go over. I have been complaining, not complaining, apparently I don't complain enough. So <laughs> I went to the doctor today and they did a a check on me where they ram their fist up your vagina and check to see how thinned out your cervix is and all that jazz. I was one centimeter, 50% effaced, so back up to last Wednesday. And so here's some things that happened. Last Wednesday, I was really thinking he was coming, like for some reason. So we were really stressed out, getting some things done, and uh, I had false labor pains, which means um, in the low back area, flank area, it, and it's just like period. If you have really bad periods, um, it's the same kind of back pain, same thing. Back cramps, had those, had cramps like menstrual cramps, uh, nausea, headache, just all that stuff where you feel like kind of sick like you were when you were a kid. That was in waves, um, and I felt my vagina doing something funny. And I was like, ladies, you can't feel your, your um, you can't feel when you dilate? No. Well, I think I could. I don't know. I could just feel something going on down there. So anyway, um, fast forward. I had some things happen, and, and I didn't want him to come out that week. I was ready, and then I, all of a sudden I wasn't ready. So I put the brakes on. I canceled my clients for that week. Still in that week. Um, kind of a semi-bed rest. Not doing too too much anything to exert myself. I haven't worked out. I haven't done anything really to get my heart rate up. <coughs> um, and it's worked. Uh... Tuesday of this week, a few days ago, I had the same thing, the, the false labor pains. Uh, and I say false labor just because it's not active labor. It, it's not called false labor. It's called like early labor or something like that. Uh, so anyway, went today and apparently the false labor, uh, non-active labor works So because it's getting everything ready down there. But for months, I have been complaining about snail trails, vaginal discharge, okay? I was like, what's going on here? This is the worst part about pregnancy. Like, it, it has been uncomfortable, uh, painful sex, um, even, like, itchy. I've had to wear, like, five panty liners a day. Um, and this is all gross, sure. But I just want you to know because you may be like me and I, I was just uninformed. Um... I, I did not told I wouldn't say anything. I wouldn't complain about it. I would just say, um, hey, I have discharge. Is that normal? Oh, yeah, it's normal. It's called this. Uh, and my other friends, I noticed, weren't really having that. So I was like, well, maybe I'm just, you know, weird because my body fat was so low before and now I'm a woman. I don't know. <coughs> so anyway, today, um, and then peeing often. You know, pregnant women bitch about everything. It's almost like they use pregnancy just as a excuse to bitch. So, I just thought pregnancy felt painful sex, discharge, having to pee all the time, urgency to pee, uncomfortableness, I, vagina issues, you know, I just thought it all came with being pregnant. Apparently not. I went to the doctor today and she goes, oh, and I asked her, I said, what is going on here? And she was like, you have a really bad yeast infection. I'm like, holy shit. So, and a UTI, I had a urinary tract infection. So, of course, I went to get immediately the AZO um, homeopathic yeast and UTI treatments. They've always worked for me in the past. I'm going to hope they work now. If they don't, I'll just sell for the freaking drugs, get it over with. Um, but anyway, apparently, and, and my doctors, this is just what gets me. I pee in the cup every time, and they didn't catch this. I just don't understand. I even told them, hey, it kind of hurts to have sex. Well, that's normal. So, I'm here to tell you, okay, be, be aware of that. Um, because the last time I had a yeast infection or UTI was like 10 years ago. And sure, I never used to take baths. Now, it was, and now it's all I do. And I tell you, I like bath salts. Um, apparently, I'm very sensitive down there. So, it could be that or I was reading um, the increase in estrogen. That's something to... Um, candida and yeast growth um, and, and it is a known thing in pregnancy for yeast infections to be more common because of increased estrogen. 
So that could also be a factor. However, it just kind of makes me mad that I've been six months and, and, and with all these bad symptoms, and I was just thinking it was pregnancy symptoms, which means I would have had an absolutely like a okay pregnancy and it's been okay so far just that I guess I'm just used to fucking like hurting or um, being uncomfortable because everybody acts like you've got to be miserable I'm here to tell you you do not have to be miserable just uh, I guess I was so into being pregnant I didn't even recognize symptoms of what was really going on so yeah that that's that's crazy and that was my uh, checkup today so woke up this morning same kind of things, a little cramps, went to walk, um, feel better. So he's looking like he's going to be on his due date, which is in another two weeks, and I could be late. I have no idea. Um, so after this, you know, clears up, um, I'd like to start being more active like I was because apparently taking rest and getting off my feet has really helped keep him in there. Um, so that works. So if I go back to what I was doing, maybe he'll come on out. I'm okay with whatever. I just want to be healthy. Um, they also told me yesterday I had group strep B. So for someone like me that's big into holistic, that just sucks because it makes me feel like, well, shit, I fucking suck at what I do. However, I'm wondering if the yeast infection caused me to test positive for the group strep B. I have no idea, but it's a game to me. It's kind of fun to see if I can heal myself. I had a case of Amasi delivered um, from Kansas City from the Beyond Organic. It's super super high potency probiotic. Um, I'm probably going to go get another one from the store, something for a feminine, you know, probiotic. Um, taking my homeopathic stuff, seeing how fast that clears up. And um, it'd be cool if they could swab me unless I go into labor for group strep B again just to see if I'm positive or negative because I really don't want to take those antibiotics. I just don't like all that stuff. But um, I'm, I'm open for whatever. I want him to be healthy, period. And I'd love to have him through my vagina. Um, C-section, totally fine. I met a lady yesterday, and she has like five kids. Looked awesome. Was lifting her heavy seven-year-old or five-year-old up in the buggy. Had a C-section a week ago. So I'm really not scared about either one anymore. I used to be, oh, I hope I can have a natural. Now I'm like, eh, if I have a C-section, plenty of women get them. But having vaginally, awesome. Um... The group strip me and the yeast, though, pissed me off like no other. So that's been fun. I just want you to be aware uh, of what's going on down there because pregnancy is supposed to not hurt. Yes, when you start gaining some weight, you might, you know, throw your back out or something. Just go to the chiropractor um, and keep moving and eat pretty good, okay? But the other stuff, you know, like I'm doing the yeast infection symptoms, painful sex, all that stuff, um, see what that's about. Even my friend I just found out had a bladder infection. Her doctors didn't even catch it. A bladder infection. A holistic doctor caught it instead. So weird stuff happens when you're pregnant. I even had a freaking shingles outbreak when I first conceived because I didn't find out I was pregnant until eight weeks. And I had shingles within that, you know, four to three or four weeks of being pregnant. Like, my health, it, it, it fucked me up when I got pregnant at first. I don't know what it was, but it definitely throws your body for a loop. So, just be aware, and uh, that's my little update. I'm itching to work out, but something inside me says don't do it. Um, probably just stick with very light yoga, stretching, maybe some walking, <coughs> and uh, get back to training my clients next week. I will be 38 weeks officially, moving into 39 um, I think that's about it. See you later.